Hello, and welcome to iClone Tutorials, iClone 2.5 and Magic's Movie Edit Pro. Using the 3D gallery transitions to exhibit rendered iClone output. In this tutorial, you will learn how to create and render multiple iClone scenes for importation into Magic's Movie Edit Pro. Once in Movie Edit Pro, you will learn how to use the 3D gallery transitions to develop rich 3D movement in between your iClone clips. This is an awesome way to showcase your texture packs, movies, or portfolio without all the hassle. You also will be exposed to the text editing methods found inside of Magic's Movie Edit Pro, adding overlaid text to your clips, as well as in credits to your movie. So let's go ahead and get started now. Step number one, open iClone and load a character into the project that you wish to exhibit in a fashion show. In this tutorial, we are showcasing the Jane Clone Cloth Collection. Go to Avatar, Character, Template, G2 Clone Cloth Volume 1 folder, Jane folder, and select Jane Clone Gown A. Step number two, load a 3D scene and apply a motion to your character. Go to Animation, Motion, Template, Female folder, and select Catwalk. Step number three, now animate your avatar by double clicking on the character, making it active with iClone 2.5, or go to Avatar, Character, Modify tab, and use the character position fields to move the character. Or you can select the character and use a combination of Alt plus Shift and the arrow keys to move your character back. Make sure you're at the beginning of the project, and then move to the end of your project and move your character forward in scene. Now your character will walk from point A to point B. Step number four, now export a few different passes from your animation using different characters each time. This will create the five clips. To export your clip, go to Export, Video, choose the AVI format, choose DVD NTSC 720x480 for the output size, choose best render, and then set the frame rate at 30. Then select the export button from the bottom, name and save your file, and then choose full frames uncompressed. Select OK. Step number five. Now open Magic's Movie Edit Pro. Name your new movie, iClone. 3D gallery, then select the OK button. Step number six, click on the import file button to import the iClone foreground footage. Navigate to the footage and click OK to import. When asked if you want to attach the clip to the movie, say attach in order to add multiple clips to the project. Do this for all your files. Step number seven, Click on the edit button from the top toolbar and then locate the storyboard mode button on the bottom left hand navigation. This will show all of your clips placed on the timeline back to back. Right click on the transition for the first clip and select a fade in. This will take your clip from solid black to visible. Step number eight. Right click the second transition and select 3D gallery and then select fade one. 3D Gallery is a plug-in 3D transition that will automatically create a 3D museum where your iClone clips are the video artwork on the wall. Purchase the plugin at www.catoo.com www.catooh.com Step number nine, right click the third transition and select 3D Gallery and then select Fade 3. This will create your next 3D transition for your rendered iClone output. Step number 10, right click the fourth transition and select 3D gallery and select fade number five. This will create your next 3D transition for your rendered iClone output. Step number 11, right click the fifth transition and select 3D gallery and select fade number seven. This will create your next transition for your rendered iClone output. Step number 12. Right click the last transition 
and again select 3D Gallery and select Fade 9. This will create your next 3D transition for your rendered iClone output. Also, this transition will take you to a black screen ready for credits to be added, attaching the transition to a shot without another clip behind it. Step 13. Now, add end credits to your movie. Go to the Timeline mode, and then click on the Title tab from the top. Locate and click on the End Credits title. Drag it down to the end of the timeline, placing it after your rendered clips. To open the title editor, then select the movement folder and select the up option. Type in the desired text into the text position field. Then choose a font and color that work best. Then click OK once you're happy with the results. Step number 14. Now add overlaid text to your individual clips. Go to the storyboard mode and then click the text tab from the top left of each of the clips. This will open the title editor. Then select the standard folder and the points option. Type the desired text into the text position field. Choose a font and a color that will work best for you. Then click OK when you're happy with the clip text. Do this for all five of your clips, giving each one its own text set. Step number 15. Finally, export your movie. Go to File, Export Movie, Video as AVI. Then navigate to your file location. Make sure that your file size and resolution is set to the proper settings. Then click OK to begin the render. Choose to customize your movie or continue. Magic's Movie Edit Pro makes it fun and easy to take unrendered output from iClone and enhance its visual qualities. Using plugins such as 3D Gallery with your custom videos takes already great looking projects to the next level, giving users the ability to showcase their work in many different forms and styles is a huge asset to any video editor. Real Illusion and Magix can take you from the director's chair to the art gallery with ease and efficiency. All you have to do is tell the story. If you have any further questions, please feel free to visit www.realusion.com or contact technical support.